had to see the hair. Welcome to Ishara's world. She's a life coach. Ishara's world. Welcome to Ishara's world. She's a life coach. Ishara's world. Welcome to Ishara's world. I'm a life coach. Hi, everybody. My name is Ishara, and this is my review for Connie. Yes. Check me out. An African-American woman rocking platinum blonde. Yes. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. What I love about this unit is that I wore it today and I received many compliments from Chinese, from white, and from men, of course. So um, this is like one of my favorite wigs right now. Um, the name of this wig is called Connie in DX26. 88 DX2688 DX2688 and it's from Sensational Empress Lace Wig Lace Front Edge Sensational Lace Wig Sorry There we go Connie DX2688 Sensational Lace Front Wig Empress Lace Wig lace front edge lace front edge okay the reason I don't have the picture of the wig if you want to see this inside of the wig and things like that you can check it on the plentiful ladies who have reviewed Connie in black but um, the reason why I made this video is for the um, women who are looking to see what Connie in DX 2688 looks like I love this wig I'm, I'm keeping it really honest you guys right now this camera, my Logitech, is not doing this wig justice. Like, I look much better in real life than right here now on camera. I swear to you, I swear to you, I swear to you. Because this brown undertone with the platinum top really um, livens up my face. It livens up my face. Now, I guess I understand when girl says that this wig gives me life because this color does lighten up my face. I have a quick information guides to give you guys. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different from the other reviews. Please, ladies, please, I don't care how many wigs you see on YouTube. You need to go into the store and try them on because this right here, I wouldn't have purchased it unless I didn't try it in the store. And what you don't get from watching other girls put on wigs is seeing what the wig looks like with your features, your complexion, your structure, your face. It is key that you go into these beauty supplies. Make it your business that if you purchase wigs on a regular, walk into beauty supply stores when you pass them and pick three wigs to try on, four being the maximum, to see what looks good on you. Okay, let me tell you a quick story about this wig. Um, I saw Connie with through the many girls. I don't remember their names, but many girls have reviewed Connie, but usually in black. But I figure if you're going to wear a wig, you might as well go extreme. So I'm really experimenting now with different colors and something I would have never tried before. So um, let me show you the hair while I'm talking. Um, it's very, it's very fluffy. I, I love it. I love the shape. Even my mom said she loved the shape. Um, comb it real quick. Um, I went into the beauty supply store. I picked three wigs to look at. All right. I checked out three wigs. Most of them were blonde. What I learned from visiting beauty shop stores is that strawberry blonde, gold blonde does not look good on me. But platinum blonde with the undertones of brown or black or both look outstanding on me. Outstanding. It looks great on me. So what I learned from practicing to put on wigs is I need wigs that um, shake my face. And I also need wigs with high definition color like a platinum blonde. Strawberry blonde doesn't look good on me. I say all of that to say this. You need to go into these stores and try on these wigs and stop purchasing wigs just because another you saw another girl with it on. Try these wigs on. Oh, yeah. Um, I forgot to tell you. Uh, okay. Up here, Connie. When you purchase Connie, Connie is completely blonde all the way through. Completely blonde all the way through. But what's very correct from what I heard from other girls is that when there's like a brown or black root, it, it's more natural. So what I did was, okay, I hope you can see it. Because I'm new to all this, guys, so bear with me. What I did was, see, 
what I did was I actually mixed the top of the wig, the top, with foundation and a brown eyeliner pencil to give it that um, brown, oh, my hair has brown roots at the top. And it actually did a great job as to making it look even more natural for me, okay? Even more natural. So um, what I do now is when I purchase platinum blonde wigs, even if they don't have the um, blonde roots, I will add the brown roots because it does enhance the look and make it look more natural. I kid you not, I had this Chinese woman, okay guys? This Chinese woman, okay, Chinese. Um, after I got out the gym, she saw me put on my wig cap. I went back to my locker um, during the gym. I went back to my locker to get my wig. I put my wig on and I went to the, um, the mirror to fix it. And she's like, oh, your hair looks so nice. Your hair looks so nice. Your hair looks so nice. I was like, thank you. She's like, is that your hair? That's what she said. She said, is that your hair? I was like, no, it's a wig. Like me, there's no shame in my game. I've had locks all my life, still do, starting fresh, starting new. And I love the fact that I'm wearing wigs, that I'm at a moment in my life where I'm wearing wigs. So I'm quick to tell somebody, yeah, it's a wig. It's all good. It looks good. She's like, oh, it looks so pretty. It looks so pretty. You know, so... There's no shame in my game. I don't, I'll tell anybody I have a wig on. I don't care if you know I have a wig on. If I'm about to fight, I'll take my wig off, ask somebody to hold it for me, and beat someone's ass real quick and put my wig back on. Like, that's, 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 that's on my level. This is my level right now. Like, I take care of my wigs. Like, if I'm about to get into a fight, my hair is not going into the fight with me. I'm taking it off, like my children, my keys, and my wallet, and I'm telling someone to hold it for me so I can commence with the ass whipping. You feel me? But um, anyway, seriously, platinum blonde, you should try it. Try it. Go to the store. Try the different blondes. Me, myself, no other blonde looks good on me except platinum blonde. Strawberry blonde, gold, gold blonde, yellow blonde, um, gold blonde. None of those blondes look good on me. Brown blonde, none of those things look good on me. None of them. But platinum blonde with brown undertones and black or both or just black and brown, makes it look right and I'm so glad I purchased this way. Oh yeah, to finish the story with the beauty um supply people. So boom, I go into the store, I try on three wigs. This was one of the wigs that I tried. Me, I will go in and try a wig and leave and if I don't have the money, I'll come back and purchase it. So I came in a couple days later when I had the money to purchase the wig and um when I walked in Quick note on how ugly people can be sometimes. Um, the guy had put up a new sign saying, um, which wasn't there yesterday when I tried on the wigs, mind you. It was a Chinese-owned store. Not everybody is prejudiced, you guys. I'm just sharing a moment and what happened. And the store, the moral of my story is learn to deal with shysty people because the best businessmen and women are women and men who can deal with shysty people. When you're looking at a shysty person dead in their eye and you know they don't like you for whatever reason and you're still able to do business with them, it makes you better and you're one-upping the ugly person. So then, um, anyway... Quick health note, drink healthy things like fruits and vegetables, pineapples, ice, and make a smoothie. Fill your stomach with the right foods in the right way. Made that myself. Anyway, I went to the store a couple days later to purchase the wig because the first time I tried them on, I didn't have the money to do it. And do you know the man had put up a new sign and he actually told me too and said, you have to pay one dollar for the wig cap because you cannot put on the wig with your used wig cap. Which made no sense to me because these wigs are being tried on by women every day. But fine. I was like, that's fine. I'll pay you the dollar. That's not a problem. He also didn't even want to do business with me. He actually said to me, and I quote, Oh, you, you, oh, I, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't work with you right now. I can't work with you right now. You come back later. I'm busy. I'm busy. Listen. I put on Connie a couple days ago and I loved it so much that I was going to deal with this man because I love this wig. So I was like, sir. I just want to see two wigs. It was Connie, this one, and another one I was thinking about buying. I ended up not buying the other one because I didn't like it. And I said, sir, I just need for you to take out Connie. I just want to see if I want to purchase it or not. So I waited for him. Then he finally got the wig for me. And I took it and I put it on. I fell in love with it. Long story short, they did not have Connie in this color, DX. 
to 2688. They did not have this color. So I had to then go on the business aspect of things and try to negotiate with this Chinese man to bring down the price of the wig. Instead of purchasing it, saying it online, which is like a $40, I'm sorry, $35 plus $6 shipping and handling. I already did the math in my head, but I am a frugal shopper and I'm a smart shopper. So I count to the penny. So I was like, if I can get this man to come down to at least 37 to $35, I'll be saving a couple of dollars and I'll be getting the wig quicker. So I talked to the man. He said no at first. Um, he, I, the, the, the wig was 40 And I was like, sell it to me for 35 he was like, no, 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 no. So he went on his computer. He said, I will sell it to you for 39 I was like, oh, 39 is too high. 37 37 And I'll look at your other wigs and I might buy another one. Sell it to me for 37 Because I actually saw another wig that I haven't reviewed yet for you guys, but I love it. It's a burgundy curly wig. And I purchased that from him. And he sold me this wig for $37. And the other wig that I purchased was on sale for 29 So it, it all worked out. All right, this video is way too long because it's about to be 11 minutes. So moral of the story, ladies and gentlemen, if you want something, be patient enough to try to get it because when it comes down to it, if, you, if it's really meant for you, you will get it because the Chinese people did not want to deal with me, but I got my wig and I got it for a good price and I got another wig for a good price. And I showed those Chinese people, when you think someone's not going to buy, they might fuck around, come into your store and end up buying something. You feel me? So yes, this is Connie and I'm Ishara T. Sadi Saif, international life coach extraordinaire. Please, ladies and gentlemen, hit me up on IG at it's I period. I fuck up all the time. I period, S period, T period. No, I got it. That was wrong. I period, S period, T period, T. I period, S period, T period. No, I period, T period, S period, S. It's I S T. No, I T S S. I T S S. It's with dots in the middle. I T S S with dots in the middle. I T S S with dots in the middle. Hit me up on IG or my MySpace at Eternally Queen or my other MySpace page at um, Princess Locks. Um, MySpace backslash Princess Locks. Um, thank you guys for watching. I know, like, I only have like four subscribers but I don't care I'm talking to my four people this is my son say hi baby hi mommy uh, how do you delete this thing oh un uninstall uninstall okay, okay thank yeah. you you're, you're welcome all right so um thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you on the next review and I have some great wigs coming up so stay tuned and all the wigs I've purchased are wigs that are extreme they're not plain black wigs. I barely purchase black wigs unless it's something extraordinary. So most of the wigs you'll see me wearing is extreme wigs, different types of wigs. But yeah, this is Connie and thank you for watching. Bye. Subscribe. Why not? If not, watch me again. <laughs> Bye.